गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर कल्पना शर्मा असोसिएट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जोलॉजी एस पी सी गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज अजमेर बच्चों मैंने अपने लास्ट लेक्चर में आप लोगों को इंट्रोडक्शन टू माइक्रोबायोलॉजी बताया आज के लेक्चर में मैं आप लोगों को हिस्ट्री ऑफ माइक्रोबायोलॉजी बताने जा रही हूँ Even during the early times, some of the basic principles of microbiology were known. An early history of microbiology is based on the description given by priests, philosophers, and naturalists of those times. During early and middle ages, epidemics and endemic diseases in humans were considered as punishment from the god for sins of mankind, and therefore. For cure, sacrifices were made. However, there was some idea in ancient time also about contagion and hygiene. Thus, it was well known that leprosy was a contagious disease, and healthy person must avoid leprosy patient. As early as second century BC, Vara said. that the cause of contagious diseases are invisible organism this concept was also known to greek roman and arab philosophers and writers in this slide you can see the work of antony von leeuwenhoek It was only after the invention of the microscope that microorganisms could actually be visualized. Antony von Leeuwenhoek made very basic type of single lens microscope. Under this microscope, Leeuwenhoek studied life forms which were termed as animal cules. Amongst animal cules for accurately describe the three major types of bacteria namely rod cocci and spirochetes levenhoek presented his discoveries in the series of article from 1676 to 1683 uh, uh, at the royal society of london besides bacteria he also described free living and parasitic protozoans fibrillar fungi and spherical bodies which we know call as yeast it was leuwenhoek himself who for the first time discover spermatozoa theory of spontaneous generation Aristotle 384 BC proposed that animals might originate spontaneously from soil plants or other unlike animals In 1668 Francisco Redi disapproved such generation of organism from non living things John Needham's in 1745 heated fluid and poured them into flask and covered with corks the fluid turned turbid showing presence of microorganisms Spallanzani in 1765 boiled beef both and immediately sealed flask no growth was observed in broth the work of antony von leeuwenhoek antony von leeuwenhoek was the first person who observed the described single cell organism animalcules we now refer them as microorganisms described different morphological forms of bacteria he was the first person to record observation of muscle fiber bacteria spermatozoa and blood flow in capillaries After that came Aristotle, Francisco Redi, John Needham's, and Spallanzani. Louis Pasteur in 1861 finally disapproved spontaneous generation after many years debate. Then came John Tyndall in 1820 to 1893. 
he dealt a final blow of spontaneous generation theory in 1877 by demonstrating that omission of dust and on growth and no growth if microorganism is observed after filtering microbes from air pasteur drew the conclusion that the source of contaminations are microbes he developed an aseptic technique which utilized heat for transfer and working with microorganisms in 1859 he performed the famous goose neck flask experiment pasteur prepared meat broth by boiling it in the flask having narrow long and curved neck in these flask air was able to enter but the contained microbes settled in the goose neck of the flask thus only uncontaminated air was circulated in the flask in such condition in the meat broth no organism originated but if the goose neck of the flask was broken then contaminated air containing bacteria entered the flask and in such meat broth microbes appeared pasteur with this experiment conclusively showed that organisms or living being do not have the property of spontaneous generation for more discoveries of pasteur description of the gram the germ theory of fermentation may be referred which is being described In honor of ending of the myth of the theory of spontaneous generation goes to British scientist John Tyndall. John Tyndall worked his work from 1820 to 1893. Although a large majority of the scientific community agreed with the experiments and researches of Louis Pasteur, a small band of scientists still had strong belief in the theory of spontaneous generation because due to certain reasons some of the experiments performed by pasteur could not be replic- replicated by them during this period john tyndall a british worker and a great supporter of pasteur researchers performed a series of experiments in support of pasteur's work he demonstrated that for making various infusion germ free and sterilized suf- sufficient boiling for different time period is necessary some infusions can become sterilized however other are not sterilized even after 5 hours of contain- continuous boiling and microorganisms appear after some time tindel explained that the reappearance of microorganisms was due to the presence of heat resistant form of microbes in hay infusions tindel thus came to the conclusion that microbes occur in two forms heat labile vegetative forms heat liable vegetative forms and heat resistant endosperm forms in 1876 cohen described the heat resistant properties of endosperm of bacteria in support of tindel's work tindel also devised a technique for the destruction of heat resistant bacterial forms by the method of discontinuous heating this process is called as tindelization germ theory of disease agostino bassi 1835 discovered silk worm disease caused by fungus after that came ignaz Samuel Samuelvis in 1841 he observed invisible agent caused sepsis Richard Petri designed a special plate to hold a solid culture this plate has great significance in microbiology and is referred as Petri plate Joseph Lister introduced concept of sterile surgical field use of antiseptic followed 
लुइस पाश्चर लुइस पाश्चर इज नोन एज फादर ऑफ माइक्रोबायोलॉजी ही ट्रेन केमिस्ट फ्रॉम फ्रांस एस्टेब्लिश द फॉर्मेंटेशन वॉज कॉज बाय माइक्रोबियल एजेंट्स ही ऑल्सो डेमोन्स्ट्रेटेड एनारोबिक फॉर्मेंटेशन बाय बोथ bacteria and yeast bacteria produces acid and yeast produces alcohol developed pasteurization to prevent the spoilage of wine by bacteria and he also noted that different types of fermentations were associated with different kinds of microbes development of methods and techniques of bacteriology was given by louis pasteur he proved that microbes arise only from their light robert cook robert cook worked from 1843 to 1910 he is known as the father of bacteriology Robert Koch introduced the method for isolation of pure culture use of solid media for isolation of bacteria and staining technique he also discovered anthrax bacillus in 1876 tubercle bacillus in 1882 and chlorella vibrio in 1883 His post Koch postulates. What are the Koch postulates? Koch postulated that a specific microbe is always associated with the particular disease. Secondly, a pure culture of the microbe can be prepared by growing the bacteria in the laboratory. Thirdly, if the microbe taken from the pure culture are inoculated into a healthy individual, then as a result, the same particular disease appear in the individual. And the last one, if the microbes from the patients are removed and grown in the laboratory, then once again their pure culture can be prepared. after that came at sir edward jenner edward jenner observed that milkmaids who had milder form of cowpox were not prone to smallpox after observing cases of cowpox and smallpox for few years in 1796 he removed the fluid of a cowpox from a milkmaid and inoculated James Phipps an 8 year old boy who soon came down with cowpox 6 weeks later he inoculated the boy with smallpox the boy remained healthy jenner had proved this theory that the pus in the blisters which milkmaid received from cowpox protected milkmaid from smallpox in the context of prevention of disease the name of the british doctor edward jenner has its own importance the credit of developing the technique of vaccination for the first time in 1796 goes to jenner as can be appreciated the techniques of vaccination was developed much earlier that time of pasteur and cook jenner study two related diseases namely cowpox and smallpox for 26 continuous years and then provided a method of vaccination he named cowpox as variolate vaccine and thus his technique of inoculation was vaccination and his inoculating fluid was termed vaccine thank you